I'm Margaret from Just Needs Paint, and today I want to share with you our hard-earned lessons and thought processes when it came to dropping this new low voltage line for this new video doorbell using a flexible drill bit. Let's get started. I'm going to start off with, this is not the direction I thought this project was headed, but a flexible drill bit is perfect if you need it in this situation and you use it right the first time. More on that later. Now I started this project by removing the old doorbell. And when I removed the old doorbell from right here, I discovered the state of the cable. And if you even look at this wrong, the sheathing fell off. So rather than creating a fire hazard with the arcing in between these lines, I knew I had to replace the line. And we're replacing it with 18-2. This is thermostat wire. It's a heavier gauge wire that will be able to handle the demands of a video doorbell. Now going back to having just taken this off, it wouldn't budge. So we had to take the trim off. And which way do you think the cable went? And if you said down and around the window, I'm kind of questioning what you're thinking, but you'd be right. So we also had that against us. And when it came to actually pulling the wire, we didn't even get to pull it before it broke right up in the corner. And I'll show you here where we had created a pilot hole at the top of what you see right here. This isn't your standard eight foot ceiling. So we had to look at our options. Two, we want to start from the inside. I've already created a stucco patch for myself. I didn't want to add drywall patches. Well, that would be fast to get into. It's really difficult to do a great patch job with orange peel. It's a bit of an art. We do a great job at the actual patching, but when it comes to texturing, that's more of the artistic side. And we're in our homes 98% of the time. While you might not be in the hallway, you're going to be more likely to notice a patch inside of your home than stucco way upside. Because when you're knocking on the door, that person is going to be looking in the window, maybe staring in amazement at how pretty this door is compared to where it was peeling two weeks ago, or eating the basil that's just outside of the front door here. You're not looking way up high. So that was option number one. I said no to. Option number two was running a conduit. Now, if I ran a conduit with plastic here in the desert, it would just bake. And as we saw here, this is metal. What does this metal do to the, to the cable, but just bake it as well? I didn't want to be making a brittle cable or a brittle conduit. Plus, in the end, I think a conduit along the outside looks unplanned. It's a little unfinished looking, especially when it's the first thing you see when you go up and ring your doorbell. So my vote, was to make the hole bigger up in the stucco so that it, the cable would have the protection of the sheathing, the foam, the stucco, so that it wasn't baking. So then it came time to actually using a flexible drill bit, which we borrowed from our neighbor that had a set. And we learned the hard way the first time that the angle really matters and it's very easy to go through drywall. So welcome to the top of the entryway where you can see we're still putting the board and batten in place, but it's all sealed up. We'll be trimming that off, but you can see the size of the hole that I have to patch now. Now it didn't start like that. What that pilot hole was probably about this big. And we have a stud going horizontal about two feet below this. So we needed some way to drop the new low voltage wire through that horizontal stud. Now I'm gonna put this in the wall backwards so I don't nick the cord that we've already put in place. But you can see when you're going down, one of the challenges is you don't want, you don't want the drill bit to go through the drywall, but plus you also don't want the electrical cord to be going down along the drywall because if you have a nail go through some kind of penetration, it's probably gonna be from the interior of the house. You want to have the new line going along the outside of the house. So I really wanna call attention to how you should not 
direct the flexible drill bit. Right now I'm turning it out so that you can see this is a really bad angle that's only going to direct it at the drywall. And that's exactly what happened the first time was it went right on through. So when we reevaluated, I still said, just make a bigger stucco hole. I'm already going to have to patch it. I'm okay with that. So we made the stucco hole bigger so that we could get the better angle. And I hand guided this down through the insulation to make sure that the drill bit was along the outside edge there. So this is pretty much how the project played out. Those were our major thought processes, making us think about how we wanted the final product to look, to make it look like something a house that you're really proud to go up and say, hey, this looks like a finished product, not an afterthought, not something that's patched up on the inside. But also some of the things that we learn from having gone through the drywall the first time Please subscribe so you don't miss the next video where I'm talking about how exactly to use a flexible drill bit. And remember, no project done right just needs paint.